Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Thy word is sharper than to a Jesu. You are a consuming fire. Thy word. It's the first Sunday of the month. The first Sunday in the new quarter. You are waiting for your miracles and your celebration. The word that was hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. The word is sharper than two edges. What you are a consuming fire. The word. Word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. The word is sharper than two edges. You are a consuming fire. The word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. The word is sharper than two edges. You are a consuming fire. Angels are singing, singing. Angels are singing, singing. Brothers are singing, they are singing. Sisters are singing, singing. Adults are singing, they are singing. Children are singing, you are worthy. I feel like praising the Lord. I feel like praising Jesus. For I have touched the hem of his garment, I feel like praising the Lord. What about you? I feel like praising the Lord. Praise him. I feel like praising the Lord. Praise him. For I have touched the hem of his garment, I feel like praising the Lord. Will you praise him? I feel like praising the Lord. Praise him. I feel like praising the Lord. Praise him. For I have touched the hem of his garment, I feel like praising the Lord. Oh, go, Ilewa. Borrow Olua, Epa da Lenny, Mo Pari Wo, Epa da Lenny, Mo Pari Wo, Epa da Lenny, Mo Pari wo, pari wo. Ah, epa da le mi, mo pari wo, epa da le. Ah, 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 epa da le mi, mo ti pari wo. Epa da le mi, mo pari wo. Epa da le mi, mo pari wo. Mo pari wo, mo pari wo, mo pari wo, mo pari ah, mo pari wo, mo pari wo, mo pari wo, mo pari wo, ogun ilewa, boro oluwa, epa dale, mo pari wo, epa dale, you won't go. Epa da le yimi, mo pari wo. Epa da le yimi, mo. Say, O God, arise, deliver me from every family battle, tying down my destiny. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Arise, O God. Deliver me from every family battle that is tying down my life. In the name of Jesus, deliver me. Open your mouth and pray. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me. Family battles tying down my life. Deliver me, O Lord. 
In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. They told us a story long time ago. A man had a slave who had a baby. The day the baby was born, the man being a herbalist, threw the baby inside the mortar and pounded the baby, used the baby for evil medicine. And the slave issued a curse and said, no female in your lineage will ever have a child. And this was discovered when a young lady who got married could not have a child. Then they told her what happened. You are going to pray. Any generation of course. Is that how you pray it? Any generation of course. Tormenting my life. I break you now. By the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Generational curse tormenting my life, inherited causes tormenting my home. I break you now. Break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break, 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 break. Break in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The power that terminates glorious children in my hometown. Lose your power over my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. That power that terminates glorious children in my hometown. Lose your power. Lose your power. Lose your power. Lose your power. In the name of Jesus, lose your power, lose your power over my home, over my life, over my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, lose your power, lose your power, lose, 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 lose. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I want you to pray very well. That power operates in my village. They terminate glorious children. We just lost a general. The guy should be around 52 years old. Vibrant, looking healthy. He was sick for three days. He was gone. You are going to pray. Say, my life. My life. I hide you in the blood of Jesus. Cry and hide your life. I hide you in the blood of Jesus. You my life. I hide you in the blood of Jesus. I hide my life in the blood of Jesus. I hide my children in the blood of Jesus. I hide you in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My father struggled a lot. He struggled. He was old, 84 years, not bad. But his latter end was very peaceful. But I couldn't find my footings to even contribute even to his barrier. Everything was done by my senior brother. Are you following me? Yes, Are you following me? Yes, you are going to pray. Say, oh Lord, my father. Oh, Lord. Empower, me Empower me to enjoy the fruits of my labors over all my children. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Yes. Empower me, Lord, to enjoy the fruits of my labors over all of them in the name of jesus from number one to the end father lord the power the grace the life to enjoy my fruits in the name of jesus the fruits of my labors over my children 
In Jesus' name we have prayed. You know, he didn't suffer as such. But it pains me that I couldn't take care of him because he, he, he labored. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Pray. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Oh, Lord, my Father. Bless my children. To take care of me while I'm still alive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, bless them. Let them be able to do well for me. While I'm still alive. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray this last one. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Any problem tying down anyone in my family. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold, lose your hold, lose your hold, lose your hold. Yes, any problem, any sickness, any infirmity, any arrow, any wickedness tying down anyone in my family. Lose your power, 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 lose your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. Speak to us this morning. Release your fresh fire that will revive us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated, God bless you. We are still looking at the family deliverance. And the title for today is what I call Loose Me and Use Me. What do I call it? Loose me and use me. Quickly, let's open to Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. And we are going to be reading from verse 1 to verse 9. A very interesting story. Loose me and use me. Are you here? You have your Bible with you. The book of Mark is in the New Testament. Mark chapter 11. Are you there? Shall we read together? One, two, go. And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, unto Bethage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sendeth forth two of his disciples and saith unto them, Go your way into the village over against you. And as soon as ye be entered into it, ye shall find a cold tide whereon never man sat. Loose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord hath need of him, and straight away he will send him hither. Verse 4. And they went their way, and found the coat tied by the door without in a place where two ways met, and they lose him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, What do ye, losing the coat? And they said unto them, Even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the coat to Jesus, and cast their garments on him, and they sat upon him. And many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches of the trees and strode them in the way. The last verse, verse 9. And they that went before, and they that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Amen. I declare to your life, you are reserved to be used by God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree again you are preserved to be used by God in the name of Jesus. Like I said last week, every family is unique. And God has a purpose for your family. And when you look at this Bible passage, we can relate what happened here to the cold, to individuals, to families, to cities, 
and even nations. Amen? God does not create anybody without a purpose. And there is no life if you are not pursuing your purpose. Purpose is what defines life. It's not your wealth. It's not your power. It's not your possessions that define you. Fulfilling your purpose is what defines you as God's creature. And when the enemy succeeds in hindering you from your purpose, it does not matter the progress you may be making. You are stagnant. Are you following me? When the devil succeeds in stopping you from pursuing your purpose, it doesn't matter the wealth you control. It doesn't matter your position, your height. Without purpose, you are living a stagnated life. Because at the end of the day, you will look back at your life and you will not be satisfied. There are people in the world today who may not be very, very rich, but they are fulfilling purpose. They know this is the purpose of God for my life and I'm pursuing it. And as long as you are making progress in line with your purpose, let me tell you, you are blessed. Praise the Lord. Now let's look at this quote. The first thing we saw here is that the coat was tied down. Amen. In those days, coats or horses, they were instruments used for transportation. They carry goods, they carry human beings, they move things from one end to the other. And here is one that has been tied down. And no one has ever used it. This can be likened to many lives and many families that have been tied down. And there could be many reasons for a life to be tied down. It could be the powers in your father's house. It could be the idols claiming ownership of your life. It could be polygamy and unholy rivalry. This one is very common, especially in Yoruba land. When a man marries two or three wives, he has married witches. If you see two or three wives wearing the same clothes, they may be wearing the same clothes. Their minds are against one another. And if they ever agree together, it is to destroy you. It is to destroy the husband. That is it. Amen? That was a story we had many years ago too. This man married a woman and the woman gave him only girls, about seven. And then he was not satisfied. He married another one. And the one he married, what happened? That was started having boys. The man was very happy. Uh -huh. And this is the one that will inherit me. And the one that was having females started. See, eh? So all my years of labor with this man, when he didn't have ear on his leg, I knew him. When he was not guru in peers, I knew him. We suffered together. So, this strange woman will inherit all this wealth. Then battle started. Amen? He afflicted the boys with the spirit of stealing. If you don't stand where they will pocket you. They can steal anything. Ah, ah. This is the hand of the enemy. And the woman made consultation. Oh, it's your, it's your senior, senior wife now. Eh? Now senior wife. Okay. Then, those girls also, they can sleep with dogs. And the man died a miserable life. Polygamy. Polygamy. It's it's only by the masses of God. If you come from a polygamous home, where there is real, you know there are real polygamy. You know the real one. Eh? 
Some are fake. But the real one, if you are born into the real polygamous family, what should have taken you two, three years to achieve, six years you are still struggling? Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Many people have been tied down because of this spirit of holy rivalry. Amen. You can be tied down when there is unholy division in the home. Do you know siblings attack one another? Do you agree with me? Siblings, born of the same father and mother. And they be going about afflicting one another. Why? Unholy division in the home. Ah, you can't make progress. Ah, no way. It is not possible. Amen? Evil prophecy can tie a person down. That is why I don't like prophecy as such. Honestly, I don't. If I go to any prayer meeting, I don't want them to see anything for me. I'm serious. I just like to go there, feel free, and be connected to God and receive what I think I want to receive from him. Hey, you come out here and then they, they be talking about it. There's a green man in your house. Uh, somebody is too tall, but not too tall, he's short. He's the one afflicting you. Where's the affliction? Don't prophesy anything to me. Amen? And in fact, there was a time I was going to a particular mountain. They will warn us there at the mountain. Don't listen to anybody prophesying. You, know. you have come here to meet God. You are not here to meet any man. Don't listen to them. Oh. Because it says some of them will put things in their mouth and whatever they say will begin to happen in that person's life. They will be looking for them. Evil prophecy. I time many people down. Amen. And you know what? Once you are connected to them, to get out of their hands, you will sweat. What took you a few steps to enter will now take you miles to come out. Because there will be prophecy upon prophecy, sacrifice upon sacrifice. They will be making, especially you from America. Ah, do you know the, the, the rate of dollar now? Mm -hmm. $50 alone, you know what it means in Nigeria now. So, be careful. I'm not saying there are no good prophets. Don't misunderstand me. There are men of God that can see vision, prophecy, and it's very accurate. But there are very, very few. Today's manipulation that you see. Praise the Lord. And when a person is tired, what happens? There is no progress. You are tired of life. You are struggling. And do you know that they can even tie you down and make you not to even bother about it? You know some people don't measure their lives. They don't check the, where am I? Okay, three years ago I was here. In this year, where am I? Am I still on the same spot? Am I making progress? They will so blindfold them that they don't even measure as long as they can eat and pay their bills. They are okay. Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. I don't stress myself over anything. Life is good. It's not good to stress yourself over anything, but measure your life. The Bible says the righteous should shine brighter every day until you appear before your maker. If you are alive and you are not shining, that is not life. Are you with me? Now, we saw here that the coat was never used. There was a satanic embargo over this coat. It was never used. Close your eyes. Every satanic embargo upon my life. Blood of Jesus. Lift it now. In the name of Jesus. Satanic embargo upon my life. Upon my family. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. In Jesus name we have prayed. Say, oh Lord, make me useful according to your purpose for my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, my God, make me useful according to your purpose for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, make me useful. In Jesus' name we have prayed. The third thing we can see here is that the assignment to untie the coat 
was questioned as Jesus had predicted. What is this telling us? When you seek freedom from satanic hold, you will be questioned. Amen? They will query you. They will ask questions. That is why when you are ready to break loose and break out, you must be determined in your spirit. Because they will harass you. They will question you. They will say, we are the owner of your life. Especially if you are the first generation of Christians in your bloodline. They believe you are serving a strange God. They believe your fathers didn't serve this God. They worship idols. Why are you serving this God that you are serving? They will question you. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, the issue of deliverance and freedom is not something you handle with levity. You must be serious with your life. And Jesus knew ahead that the messenger will be challenged. And he told them, just tell them, the Lord needs him. And I'm telling you today, the Lord needs you. That is why you shall be free in the name of Jesus. The Lord needs your children. That is why they shall be freed from every bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And we saw here also that the coat was found tied by the door outside where two roots meet. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And they went their way. Verse 4 of that Mark chapter 11. And they went their way and found the coat tied by the door without in a place where two ways met and they lose him. This is what is called the spirit of confusion. Crossroad. When you hear crossroad spirit, He's talking about the spirit of confusion. He said, they met him where? Outside, tied down by the door, where two roads meet. Some of us are suffering from that spirit, spirit of confusion. I pray God will make his way plain before you. You shall not be confused in the mighty name of Jesus. As Jesus said, the messengers were queried, but they gave the exact word that Jesus gave them. He said, lose him, let him go, for the Lord needs him. Amen? This is symbolic of the power of God to deliver. They could not resist the power of God. They could not resist what God said, what Jesus said. I pray no power will resist your voice today. In the mighty name of Jesus, praise the Lord. And when they brought the coat to Jesus, what happened? They cast their garments upon the coat, and Jesus began to ride. And people were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. They began to carry, reflect the glory of God. Today you shall be free. And your children shall be free. And they will reflect the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Meaning that when a man is in bondage, his glory cannot shine fully. They were just feeding the coat. It was useless. This will not be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. What should we do today? Number one is to allow God to take his original position in your family. Amen? Allow God to do what? Give your family to Jesus. Let Jesus Christ be the topmost priority in your family. Return your family to Christ. The Bible says, train up a child the way he should go. That when he grows up, he will not depart from it. It's still relevant in today. And will be relevant till Jesus Christ will come. As long as we're having children and we don't train them, something else will train them. We should train them the way they should go. Praise the Lord. Look at what the Bible, Apostle Paul said about Timothy. He made a remarkable comment about the faith of Timothy. Let's open to 2 Timothy chapter 1. Very interesting Bible passage on what we as children of God should do. 2 Timothy 1 verse 5. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. Are we there? Shall we read together? 
when I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in who? In thy grandmother, Lois, and thy mother, Eunice, and I'm persuaded that in thee also. Can you see a good report? It was handed over from the grandmother to the mother and to Timothy. And I believe if Timothy had children, he would also hand this over to his children. Amen? Amen? So, we must hand over good legacies, Jesus Christ, to our children. Praise the Lord. If you allow them to be walking on Sunday, who told you that when they grow up, they will be keeping Sunday? Amen? If you don't show that Sunday is priority, who told you that when they grow up, they will discover it? I was discussing with my family. I said, this is a very serious time to be a Christian. Because when we were young, there were not many options. Am I right? Am I right? There were not many options. My father was a farmer. I didn't have any option not to go to farm. Is that true? How many of your children are operating your business now? Answer me now. How many of them are going to your office to learn what you are doing? Those of you who have businesses. Are you following me? But in those days, I had no choice. In fact, sometimes my mother would deliberately not cook because immediately we come back from uh, school like this, it would take your book and hand over back basket to you. Oh, yeah? Babat is Susuloko. That means daddy has roasted yam in the farm and you'll be running on empty stomach. You are panting after that yam. And by the time you get there, Loto, the yams are ready. Amen? How many of your children are involved in your business today? Praise the Lord. The only thing that they can easily be involved in is your Christ. And you must take it as a topmost priority. Praise the Lord. I mean... I uh, grew up, when I was in primary school, we attended, I attended Adventist Primary School. And we had uh, 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 teachers, we were doing religious knowledge in school. How many of you did uh, BK, Bible knowledge or religious, religious knowledge, in secondary school? How many schools are teaching that today? Answer me. Most of the stories that you know today, there were things that they taught you when you were in primary school and secondary school. A man with coat of many colors. Many of our children don't know him. They will say it's Moses or Abraham. And all these things we learned when we were in primary school. Praise the Lord. So you need to bring your children to the knowledge of Christ. Amen? This occasional service that you attend cannot get them anywhere. He cannot be the priest in your home. Your devotion. I told you again. You will not comprehend what you can learn in 30 minutes of devotion. Something happened during the week. Moe and Ko were in my house. And we were doing our Bible study in the night before we went to sleep. And I made sure everybody contributed. If you see the contribution of these children, you'll be surprised. Amen. We had to clap for Moe because of her contribution. He just, she just, her statement just summarized everything we are talking about. I said, wow, this is serious. And that is what we are looking for. I pray God will empower us in the mighty name of Jesus. I told you about this man, Tyler Perry. Did I correct? Am I correct today? Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I mean, he said his mother took him to church. He said all negative things about his mother. He said, but Sunday morning, they must be in church. And that did not depart from him. Today's a mortal billionaire. He has a lot of money. And he said, they asked, what do you do? He said, I take my son to church. He was handed over to him. That's why the father, the man, the woman didn't have money to even raise them. 
But that short thing, she handed it over to him. Are you following me? God will empower us. I put a, something in the bulletin, praying with your family. When Dr. Richard Harvesting was the U.S. Senate chaplain, he spoke before a group of evangelicals who had expressed their anger about Congress in activity on the subject of school prayer. They were irritated that Congress had not acted with a strong initiative to restore prayer in schools. To these who were seeking greater initiative from the government, Dr. Harvesting asked, how many of you have prayed with your children this month outside of church? Nobody raised their hand. He said, spiritual initiative starts in the home not on capital ill that is the truth amen that is the truth pray with your children let them know that with god all things are possible tell them your testimonies i always tell my children things that happened to me in the past how i struggle i was sharing with you last week that when i turned 25 i said there is nothing to celebrate. Why? I develop what is called victim mentality. Because I was struggling in life. But later on, as I started growing up, I discovered that I have a lot to celebrate. That God planted one man in my life who stuck out his neck to take care of me in my hours of need. That is enough to celebrate. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tell them you will not be where you are if not for the grace and the mercies of God. Amen. Some of us cried to buy high heel shoe. And if you see, look, look at our children. They will buy shoe today. They wear it once or, one or, once or twice. They throw it in the garage. They want to buy another one, $70. Another one, one fifty dollar. Another one, eighty dollars. Then you check the shoe. These shoes are this good as a no. They are into a better covenant. But let them know that this is possible, not because of you alone, but because God backed you up. Our parents struggled now. They tried. They wanted to give more, but they didn't have. But God gave us opportunity now that we can take care of them. You can buy a car for your children. You can do all kinds of things they want. I mean, it's a blessing. But let them know that God first. That is why you are where you are. And God will empower us in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, push your family to Jesus. And they shall be delivered. Every encounter with Christ changes life. Every single encounter with Christ does what? Changes life. Go and read your Bible very well. There was no single encounter, genuine encounter with Christ that did not result in a positive blessing. Look at the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says she pushed away to Jesus. Push your children, push your family to Christ. Don't trivialize anything that has to do with Christ. Amen? Look at that woman also. She was bent over for 18 years. And the Bible calls her daughter of Abraham. But the devil succeeded in waging war against her. Push your children. Push your family. Push your spouse to Christ. If your husband does not want to pray, Take style. You know how to take style now. Ah, honey, let's pray. It won't be long. Because some men, they are not patient with uh, long prayers. Say what you want to say. Let's go. Some men don't like long prayers. You know, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So you can, you know, cut it short, but make sure something is done. As time goes on, when this man begins to see the results, you'll be surprised he will be the one that will say, ah, I'm at Ibadura. we have not prayed. God will empower us in the mighty name of Jesus. And pray to God to reveal every secret that you need to know about your family. 
A cause causeless cannot stand. Every problem has a root somewhere. Ask God to reveal to you where did this come from? What am I going to do? What is the secret? What is the power behind this challenge in my family? And God will reveal to you. Then you'll be able to address it. Amen? Amen. They always pray for a messenger of victory. That court will have been tied down till death. If Jesus did not send a messenger, you could see that those who tied the court down were there when they came. So meaning that they were watching over him to make sure that nobody unties him. So immediately those people are there say, why are you doing this? Eh? The Lord said, he needs it. God needs your children. He needs your household. You will be delivered. I say you'll be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said earlier, purpose matters in life. Ask God, what is my purpose? To my family, to my immediate family, to my extended family, everything is no money. Everything is no money. It's true that Bible says money answers all things, but everything is no money. Maybe God has planted you here. God has made you to be a child of God so that the people in your household can turn to Christ. It may just be you sharing your testimonies. And everyone will say, this is your God. We want to know him. Don't just keep quiet. Don't say, oh, uh, everybody's doing whatever I like. No. Talk to them. Pray that the glory of God will manifest in your family. And finally, the word of God is the instrument to deliverance. The word of God. It says sanctify them by the truth. He says your word is truth. Set them apart by the word of God. Always declare the word of God upon your children, upon your household. That's why the Bible says, don't let it depart from your mouth. Say it. Speak it. When God is ready to walk in the life of that child, he uses your prayers that have been stored for him. So, if you are fond, I thank God we are in the generation that we don't curse our children. Am I correct? No, we are. God has helped us in this generation. We don't curse our children. But if you know the way they curse us in those days, if they convert some curses to bomb, it will scatter the old dollars. Only one person, you are, you are heaping that cause on only one person. A cause that can scatter the whole of Dallas. Amen? A slightest mistake that you can just say, ah, why did you do that? They look for a very serious, toxic cause. Bosa. Amen? But thank God, we don't cause our children, but do we declare blessings upon them? That is the next step. Thank God we don't cause them. Amen? We don't think if we about them. But are we declaring the word of God upon their life? You shall be blessed going out. You shall be blessed coming in. You shall excel. The Lord will raise you high. High above your contemporaries. In my lifetime, I will celebrate the goodness of God in your life. Are we saying all those things? It's very, very important. If you have not been doing that, do that today, and God will set them free in the name of Jesus. Let us rise up this morning. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. And uh, we are going to be singing the closing hymn as we distribute the communion. Then we will spend the rest of the time to pray fervently. What can wash away my sin?
for the blood of Jesus. If you have not given your offering, signal to the ushers, they will take your offering. Thank the Lord. Bless his holy name for your family. The family that God has raised for you. Your household. Thank the Lord. Just as you are unique, your family is equally unique. Thank the Lord for that unique family. Thank the Lord for the victory in the blood of Jesus. Thank the Lord for that blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. That will speak for your family this quarter, this year, and for the rest of your life. In the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, I present my family before you this morning. Do something awesome in our lives. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my God, I present my family before you this morning. My household, my children, my siblings, my spouse. I present all of us before you this morning. Father, Lord, do something, something awesome in our lives. Do something awesome in our life. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, where there is division, I pronounce one accord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In any area of our lives, as a family, that there is division, I pronounce one accord in the name of Jesus. I pronounce one accord in the mighty name of Jesus. In any area that there is division, I pronounce one accord in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I command every confusion in my home to cease in the name of Jesus. Every confusion in my home cease in Jesus' name. Cease in Jesus' name. Cease every confusion in my family. I command you to be terminated in the name of Jesus. We are operating from today in one accord in unity of purpose, fulfilling our destiny individually and collectively. Father, I present my family before you. We operate in one accord. We terminate every division in our home. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible teaches us that that coat was tied down. You are going to pray. Say, oh Lord, in any area that my family is tied down, release your power and deliver us in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, in any area of our lives that any member of this family has been tied down, release your power, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us. Anyone tied down with sickness, with confusion, with stagnancy, be delivered. Open your mouth and pray. Yes, be delivered. Yes, any power that has tied any member of my family down, Lose your hold, lose your hold, lose your hold, lose your hold. Release my children, release my wife, release me, O oh Lord. Any power tying us down. Lose your hold, lose your hold. Sicknesses, lose your hold. Diseases, lose your hold. Stagnancy, lose your hold. Poverty, lose your hold in my family. My Lord and my God, any power sitting on the glory of my family, be unseated, be unseated. Open your mouth and pray. Pray very well. Any power sitting on the glory of my family. Be unseated, be unseated, be unseated, be unseated, be unseated in the name of Jesus. Be unseated now in the mighty name of Jesus. Be unseated in the name of Jesus. Be unseated, be unseated, be unseated. Any power sitting on the glory of any member of my family. Be unseated now, be unseated. Pray, pray, pray. We have the opportunity to pray now. Pray very well. Pray very well. In Jesus' name we pray. Spiritual wickedness in high places tormenting my family. I pull you down with your power. In the name of Jesus. Every spiritual wickedness in high places pursuing my family, tormenting my family. I pull you down with your power. I pull you down with your instrument. In the name of Jesus. I pull you down. Spiritual wickedness in high places tormenting any member of my family. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, you principalities and powers, waging war against my hope, 
lose your power in the name of Jesus. Your principalities and powers waging war against my home, against my family. Lose your power, lose your hold, lose your hold, lose your hold, lose your hold. Principalities and powers waging war against my family. I command you to lose your power, lose your hold now, lose your hold now, lose your hold now, lose your hold now, lose your hold now. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, you rulers of darkness in my father's house, in my mother's house, tormenting my family, be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Disgrace them, disgrace them, rulers of darkness in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my hometown, tormenting my home, tormenting my children. Father, Lord, let them be disgraced, be disgraced, be disgraced. I disgrace you, I dismantle your power. In the name of Jesus, be disgraced now, be disgraced now, be disgraced now, be disgraced now. In Jesus' name we pray. Any sacrifice done with any blood to wage war against me, blood of Jesus, neutralize it now. Cancel it now. In the name of Jesus. Any blood sacrifice that was done to wage war against my family, let the blood of Jesus terminate it, neutralize it, dismantle the power in the name of Jesus. Dismantle it, dismantle it. Blood of Jesus. Terminate the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power attacking my children, your end has come. Die now. In the name of Jesus, any power attacking my children, your end has come. I command you to die, terminate your power in the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere attacking my children, your end has come, your time has come. Be paralyzed, be rendered useless. You shall not perform your wicked enterprise in the name of Jesus. Yes, any power waging war against my children, tormenting my children, frustrating their lives. Oh God, arise. Send your fire. Consume that power. Consume that power. Consume that power. In Jesus' name we pray. Unholy trials and tribulations in my home be canceled by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Ungodly trials and tribulations in my home be terminated. Be terminated. Enough is enough. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. In Jesus' name we pray. Every sickness that has refused to go, blood of Jesus, destroy it now. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, every sickness in my family, individually or collectively, that has refused to go, blood of Jesus, terminate, 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 terminate. Let the blood of Jesus terminate it. Terminate it now. Terminate it now. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, oh Lord, show me divine direction for the next level of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. My Lord and my God, show me the next level. Father, Lord, for my family. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my God, show me the direction. Show me the direction to the next level in my home, in my family. In the name of Jesus, I don't want to gamble. I don't want to be confused. Oh Lord, divine direction for the next level. Be revealed to me. Be revealed. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, I receive power to shine above the darkness of my bloodline. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Pray very well. I receive power to shine above the darkness of my bloodline. In the name of Jesus, I receive that power. I receive it now. Power to shine above the darkness of my bloodline. Power to shine above the darkness of my father's house. Power to shine above the darkness of my hometown. I receive it now. I receive it now. I receive it now. I receive it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I decree myself and my household. We shall not be victim of wasters. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord my God, I decree and I declare myself, my children, we shall not be victim of wasters and emptiers. In the name of Jesus, we shall not be victim of wasters. In the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now close your eyes very well. I want you to visualize in your mind that which is bothering you and you want instant intervention. Begin to talk to the Lord. That as I dictate this communion, it doesn't matter whether it's for me or for my children or anyone far away. That as I take this communion, your power will touch that situation in the name of Jesus. Now begin to talk to the Lord about it in your mind. Jesus' name we have prayed. Now take out your communion if it's not yet in your hands and I'm going to pray. Our Lord our God we thank you. That Bible passage says lose him and if they query you tell them the Lord needs it. My Lord and my God the power to lose to untie Every good thing that has been detained in the crossroad of life be released into this uh, communion. Be released into this communion. And as we take this communion now, for ourselves, for our loved ones, wherever they are on the surface of the earth, let the power that release that coat and made him gloriously useful. Be released into our communion. Make us to be totally delivered. And use us for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. The coat was not just tied down. It was connected to Jesus Christ. As we take this communion. Any member of our family. That have gone astray and have refused to serve the Lord. As we take this communion, oh Lord, connect them to Jesus Christ. Connect them to Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. The coat that was tied down by the door. Meaning that rain will come. Sun will come. Everything on his head. Now they cover with blanket. And they were shouting Hosanna to the Lord. I decree and prophesy where you have been tied down in the cold, where your family has been tied down in the crossroad of life, as you take this communion, be loosed, 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 in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's take our communion. so Lord we thank you we have eaten at your table may we not eat at the table of the enemy the flesh represent the flesh of Jesus Christ any sickness that could not withstand the body of Christ shall not withstand us the blood is for purification let each and every one of us and our loved ones be purified in the name of Jesus. We come in the rest of this month, the rest of this week, the rest of this quarter, the rest of this year into your holy hands. Father, open our heavens. Anywhere we turn for progress, 
Let the door be opened unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray.